Oh, it's Mrs. Hedgeheimer again. I forgot to tell you that you can go over your edges of your bottle with Sharpie. So I'm gonna use a thick Sharpie all the way around the edges of my bottle. Um, you might decide to use a thin Sharpie, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna go around all the edges of my bottle before I decide that I'm done for the day. And I can actually erase my pencil lines later if I want to, just to clean it things up a little bit. Notice that I'm turning my paper when I go over my outline because it helps me keep my arm straight to help me keep my line straight. Kind of just pull my arm back when I make my straighter lines. And then I follow the edge, follow the edge here, follow the edge here. This takes practice, guys. I outline things all the time, so this might look easy to me, but take your time and go slow. Don't beat yourself up if you make a little bit of a mistake. It's okay. All right, there's one last thing I wanna show you before I log off here, okay? The last thing I wanna show you is that this is a cork. If you ever touched a cork before, it's got texture on it. So there's a bunch of different ways you can add texture to your cork. You could do it the way we did with the mountains where we draw some stripes on our cork, or you could do it the way that we did with the bottom of the bottle where we add um, polka dots. So I'll show you both. So if you want to, you could just add some polka dots on maybe the edges of your cork and then on the top to add texture to your cork. Or, or I could do both really. I'm going to do thin again for this one. You could also just make some stripes and that kind of adds some texture to it. Okay, that part's up to you. And if you want to get really fancy, you could have the cork come out from the bottom of the bottle a little bit. So I'm gonna follow this line, skip the lip of it, come out. Like if it's a really long cork, you might see it inside of there a little bit. And remember the bottom is a curve. 